Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had a guest on in the past, and I liked him so much I had to bring him right on back. So today's special return guest is Chris Laporta, and he's Chief Investment Officer over at ATG Trust Company. Chris, welcome back to the show. Yeah, awesome. Glad to be back. Thanks for having me, Adam. Oh, man. So uh, first off, um, congratulations. I believe last time you were on the show, you didn't have that CIO title. Am I right? I, I didn't. No. Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Um, I earned that that uh, title in 2020. So it's been a you know a good year from that standpoint. Man, well, congrats. You're rocking and rolling. And, uh, you're, and that's the reason I definitely wanted you back on the show, number one. But number two, I wanted to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about the role of an independent trust company. So I don't want to, I don't want to assume that all of our listeners know, and we're going to pro- provide some educational back piece on that. But just to kick us off again, I don't want to assume everybody caught the first episode. Let's tell them a little bit more about what you're doing over at ATG Trust Company. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Yeah, so we were founded in 1998, um, as you mentioned, as an independent trust company. Um, so our role primarily is in what you call a fiduciary capacity. So we um, we operate under the uh, law of a fiduciary, and we provide services that are in the best interest of the client, whether that's investment management services, uh, trust and estate services. So we act as a corporate trustee or an executor of a will. Uh, for clients, and um, that is a unique industry in all of itself. Um, people are familiar with trust and wills, but they don't really know uh, what they're used for or if they should have one. So my recommendation always is um, you should have some sort of a state plan, whether that's a will, a trust, both um, beneficiaries listed. So we help with all those types of services. We don't do any drafting. We don't do any um, drafting of documents, but we simply uh, provide the services of administration for those individuals. So if they name the ATG Trust Company as executor um, of their will, we act in that capacity. If they name us as trustee, we act in that capacity. If they want to hire us a fiduciary for investment management services, we do that as well. So as the population, you know, naturally ages, so as the baby boomer population ages, I mean, the the role of the independent trustee in stewarding assets, I mean, it's become, in my opinion, more important than ever. Uh, Can you speak a little bit more on that? Yeah, for sure. Um, That is a great uh, uh, point you bring up, Adam. Um, As the population ages, um, there's a lot of different variables, I think, that come into play. Uh, one, you know, not everyone has family, uh, and we don't always recommend a, a corporate trustee or a uh, corporate executor, right? But not everyone has family they trust um, to do those types of services, so that's where we come into play. Um, or, you know, I always call it the uh, the kind of the, the Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner phenomenon, where do you really want to name your brother or your son or daughter um, as a as the trustee of the family trust? Um, and having those conversations, we've seen those, you know, just tear apart families. So while we don't always recommend having a corporate trustee or a corporate fiduciary in your plan documents, it's kind of a safeguard to put us in there at some point, right? Because you don't want to burden necessarily a family member for those types of services. Um, but also, as you notice, the, the aging population has become more unique, Um you know, sometimes uh, parents now, you know, are outliving their children um, or, you know, children have um, special needs um, and special needs, meaning they have a physical disability. They have a, a learning disability. Um, they have substance abuse issues. There's, there's many different spectrums of what we consider special needs nowadays. And uh, those individuals are living a lot longer as well. And most likely you will need some sort of financial support in the future. Um, so really what our company has focused on primarily um, and really are, are seeing a, a big, big growth opportunity 
is in the special needs trust arena where it's a lot more complex than a traditional trust. You know, if you have a, a child with autism um, and they may never be able to live on their own or may uh, only be able to work certain jobs, you know, there's a lot of different limitations and uh, variables that go into that. But having a corporate trustee that knows all the rules and the regulations and the laws with regards to what a special needs trust can and cannot do is very, very critical. So we've really put a lot of focus and emphasis on that part of the business. Yeah, I, I like that you bring this up that you say, do you really want your your child or your, your um you know, maybe your adult, right? I don't have to say their children, but um their your adult child uh to uh to run the assets and this is the bottom line. Um, you know, especially if you've if accumulated um, any significant amount of assets. So what what significant means is going to be different to everyone. But if you have, I mean, it's like running. You're like running a business. You can't get your you you can't just hand over the keys to your business to somebody that's never maybe operated a business like that or on that level. It's it, it's a lot to ask of somebody. And you're right. I have when I was an advisor. Um, once upon a time, I had seen that also tear people apart, or families apart, I should say. Um, so I, I get it. And the special needs arena. Um, that one. That's a big one. So I'm glad to hear. I wasn't aware of that, that um, that you that um, ATG trust companies put quite a bit of focus and emphasis on that because that's a big deal. I mean, that, and for anybody out there listening with a special needs um, child, they know more than anyone. Um, so they know more than anyone what that means. And, you know, you work your life to provide a certain lifestyle and you want to make sure that when you're not around um, that your child is still – um, living the quality of living that you afforded them when you were around. So that's a really big deal. Um, so love that you guys are doing that, Chris. Um, that being said, um, Chris, if somebody, final question. So a two part question. Uh, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on ATG Trust Company, um, question number one, uh, what are the right types of clients that are, uh, typically a good fit for ATG Trust Company? Um, so question number one and number two, um, what's the best way for them to follow up? Yeah, uh, so I, I love that question. I love that you bring up about, um, you know, the, the amount of money someone may have. And I think that's a, a, an important piece to this whole conversation, Adam, is that we don't have, we don't have minimums for account sizes um, or anything. I think we value what the client has, and we know they've worked hard for that. So whatever they have is important to us. And so um, I think that's a really, really powerful um, point and really something that we specialize in is that we don't have minimum account sizes. We work with people that need our help, um, that want to work with us, that trust us, that have confidence in us, and, and believe that we will do a good job to fulfill their estate plan. Um, so I think that's a really good point. Um, and if you're interested in, in working with ATG Trust Company or simply just finding out more about what a trust is, what an estate plan is, what's a corporate trustee, the type of services they offer, you can head to our website at www.atgtrust.com. And we have a ton of information out there that we provide to clients, uh, investment advisors, just on what an independent trust company can do for you. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be, doesn't mean you have to work with us. It's simply just informational only um, that, that you can take advantage of. Fantastic. Well, Chris, really appreciate you coming back on the show for this 2020 reunion episode. Um, hope the listeners, hope you got a lot out of this. I know I did. Um, hope you also enjoyed tuning in. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review in the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Chris, thanks again for coming back on the show. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Adam.